Fly anywhere with the Anywhere Map. I'm here today with Bob Zyko, who recently wrote an article on thepilotreport.com about using the Anywhere Map. And today, he's actually going to show us an actual demonstration of how to use the hardware and software. Now here, it's overlaying terrain. You can see very lightly overlaid terrain. Now, I also have it set where you can turn on the red above. So if you're descending into a mountainous airport, you can actually have it shading the red. So if you have to go mist, you can be aware that, oh, there's a mountain over there. I better pay attention to my heading on mm -hmm. the Mr. Post procedure because it'll actually shade the plate. I have that turned off just like earlier because everything was red and it's hard to see everything. And down here, you can overlay. You can turn that terrain off. You just want to see the basic white plate. And you can turn uh, radar on and off. Now, oh, very cool. there is no radar here. Um, there's a little bit of some light rain showing up. We'll try to find a plate that's under an airport that's raining on, we can see. Um, you can make little doodles if you have to draw something, you know. Maybe they want to give you a, maybe you busted a TFR and they want you to call the tower when you land. You can write down the phone number on here. Um, or you can save it or you can erase it. You actually can mm -hmm. store those in there. So if you have notes that, you know, remind you to do something, you can just draw it in there. This is a handy little feature as well. That's cool. And you can, you can toggle through the, the book. But normally the easiest way is to bring it up. Okay, here's there one go, yeah. that's showing some weather. Uh, this is the uh, GPS 2-3 approach into Frederick. So you can see uh, out here there is some weather. And I have it set so that you can still see through it. And you can adjust the how opaque that weather is. Mm -hmm. But this is really handy to see if, you know, hey, uh, you know, there is some, some weather coming in on the final approach course or wherever over the airport. And it's very handy to see that. And if you think it's in the way, you can just real quickly click a button and uh, it should disappear. This will disappear, but it should. All right, so that's the approach plate through Anywhere Map. If we go back to the main page, there's some other things you can do when you arrive at an airport, which is kind of handy for, uh, for VFR flight. It always will default to the save version. So even if I turn okay. this off, when I click that again to go to this screen, it goes to what's saved in there. So I'll just turn off that so we can see it better. I'll go down to the airport again. This is a handy little thing. You can bring up uh, extended center lines for the airport. And that will draw extended center lines for all the runways. Here's one, here's one. That's kind of handy if you're planning a straight in approach, the airport's not busy. You can just kind of follow this ILS looking uh, center line to make sure you're lined up with the runway. This is, I use this a lot if I'm landing at an airport uh, into the sun, for example, I have a little trouble seeing the runway at first. I know if I'm on this line, I'm lined up for the runway. I don't have to worry about trying to find it in the sun mm -hmm. if it's glary. So those are some of the features you have. now. There's also, you have the rubber banding you can, where you can move a route. If you go up here to this rubber band mode, you can click. And you can actually move the route. Now here, it's not going to let us move the route because we have an instrument procedure loaded and it, it, it doesn't want you to move it. But you could rubber band this and you could say, well, there's a storm here. Right. Um, I want to avoid this storm. I'll just uh, you know, draw the line and uh, you know, drag it over around the storm. But obviously, because again, we're in the instrument procedure, it's not going to let it, it's okay. red. But normally, if you're in cruise flight, you can just drag that, drag it around the storm, and just follow the line. There's some other basic features in here. There's a E6B type calculator. You get all the typical E6B functions that you can have. These also will integrate with the, uh, the Zion or Xeon uh, traffic system. So you can overlay uh, TCAS traffic on your map as well okay. to get a little more situational awareness. and. That pretty much covers just the basic operation of the Anywhere Map mapping software and the Pocket Plates program, okay. which are, again, two separate programs, uh, but they come together now. And uh, one nice thing about it is for th about $300 or $400, you get lifetime updates to uh, the IFR uh, fixed database, terrain updates. Um, obstacles and instrument procedure plates, okay. all for four, three, or four hundred dollars, which is less money than Garmin charges for a one-year update for a IFR certified 430. Mm -hmm. And so we could bring up another uh, airport here that just to see what it looks like when the 
if there is weather here. I think there was weather at this airport. What it does here is it will show you actually, if you're not on the plate, it shows you a gray line showing you where you will be. Um, okay. This line will be extended, so we're actually going this direction. So if your plane is not yet on the uh, space of the plate, it will show you what your, like if they tell you to intercept the final uh, approach uh, course, you can see as long as that gray line is intersecting it, you know you're on course to intersect that line. It just kind of gives you a, your position if you're not really on the map yet. So we can go back just to the main page. And another thing is, if you're at an airport that has uh, other procedures like arrivals or departures, here we can see uh, this is basically what you see in the back of the IFR mm -hmm. booklet where they have the country divided into sections. These are the approaches for the airport. And there's also um, arrivals uh, or departure, DPs. Uh, here's a Nottingham 6. So it brings it up and we can see uh, what that procedure is made of. And unlike uh, one drawback is right now you can't actually type in the um, FMS, you know, the flight management system name for it, like here the OTT.OTT6. Right. You could punch that in on FMS and it would know what this is. Here you you don't, but at least uh, you can look at it like you right. would on the paper okay. in the old way of doing it anyway. So it has that as well, and all the other information that are in the instrument procedure books are contained in here that you can you can actually flip through the booklet like you would if you had paper. So that pretty much covers the uh, the operation of the Anywhere Map system. There's also a lot of other features you can turn on and off. It's what's nice about it is it's highly customizable, and compared to some of the other options like mm -hmm. uh, Garmin 696, it's a very affordable system. Okay. Uh, this system is only um, software altogether is about a thousand dollars. Um, the hardware is about another, okay. including the weather receiver, about a thousand, and that's less than a typical Garmin 696. And a Garmin, you'll pay $500 a year to keep it updated. Mm -hmm. So, again, it's a nice system. It's affordable, and um, it really is a great tool for flying, especially if you're flying around weather or airspace. It really keeps you up to date about what's going on. Cool.